In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything about the Ice Shard spell. Let's start with the crafting recipe. So we have our spell forge here, and what we need is three blocks of snow, four lapis, a water bucket, and a blank scroll. So if you put the lapis in the corners, and the three snow like so, and the water at the bottom, then finish off with a blank scroll. There you go, Ice Shard level one. So what the spell does is it shoots an ice projectile, like that. So if it hits a block, it'll cover the block in snow. It just sets a little bit of snow there. If it hits an entity, the entity will be frozen, so it can't move for six seconds, and it'll take damage for just under six, so five seconds. So what the spell does is it shoots an ice projectile. If the ice projectile hits the ground or hits a block, it'll set a piece of snow there. If it hits an entity, then the entity will be frozen, so this cow can't move and it's taking damage. So the damage will go for 5 seconds and the uh, not be able to move will last 6 seconds. So it's really good for fighting creepers. If the spell hits water, the water will freeze. So that can be quite useful in some situations. And the spell will use up 10 mana for every, every time you cast it. Now to make level 2, what you need is 5 lapis, 2 ice, frost walker and the level 1. So if you put the level 1 in the middle, Frost walker at the bottom, two ice on either side, and fill the rest with lapis. There you go, level two. So level one and level two are pretty much the same. Uh, there's only a couple of differences. So level two, when it hits a block, it'll place ice rather than snow, which can be quite useful. And when it hits an entity, the entity will be frozen for nine seconds. So it'll take damage for eight, and it won't be able to move for nine seconds. Of course, level 2 does cost a little bit more mana, so it's a 15 mana spell. And that's everything for the Ice Shard spell. Thanks for watching.